Yeah, the the uh, the other two bids, one was eleven thousand dollars, and they're a local company, and the other one was eighty seven fifty. Now, I don't know how people can charge those numbers and like sleep at night. <laughs> And also, how do you even get jobs? <laughs> Just ripping people off like that. That's crazy. What's up, guys? My name is Jeremiah with Anderson Land and Tree. And I figure I'd take you along for a ride today to a job. We're going to be doing something a little different, something we don't do very often, just because of... I don't know it's, it's just i don't know it just doesn't do it very often but uh we got the brush cutter on the skids here today we're gonna be uh knocking down a few acres um it's either two and a half or five i can't remember but we're heading to jacksonville right now um and uh, we got some tree work to do there too knocking down some dead trees stacking them up and uh scoping the place out for a three-quarter acre pond that needs to be dug so um i only brought one gopro battery because I like to live dangerously and make bad life choices sometimes. Um, they're all on my desk, and I just left the office. This is first look at the property. Um, it, it, it's much just mowing, pretty much. You know, that's why I didn't bring the mulcher, but uh, I mean, the mulcher, because the brush cutter could even handle that, all that stuff right there, all those little planted pines. Obviously, we're not going to mow planted pines, but. You know, technically, it could. So we're gonna get this unchained. Actually, we're gonna call the client, find out about access, get it unchained, and then uh, get to work. brush cutter is much much better for handling grassy material um, or just grass than the mulchers are uh, these are commonly misused as forestry mulchers uh, for guys getting in the guys that can't afford mulchers homeowners so they call these sometimes they call these these forestry uh, mowers, these brush cutters, they call them forestry mowers, which is, it's a fair assumption because we can, like, we'll take this tree down right here with it. Watch. Like, you, you can take stuff down with it. The blade comes out to pet to that, to that arc right there. The blades do come out in front of the machine. So it does cut, you can cut stuff down, but the difference is in the finished product. With a mulcher out here, this would be a lot of dirt. There'd be a lot of dirt that would get mixed in just because the mulcher doesn't, can't cut um, vertically into grass. Um, it tends to pick up dirt, pick up roots. The brush cutter is cutting horizontally, which allows it to cut the grass like a regular lawnmower. Uh, so, you gotta have the right tools, like I said before. You gotta have the right tools for the job. This job was, uh, we'll talk about this in a second when I get out of the machine, uh, about how crazy this job was and why they called me from two hours away. I'm two hours away and they're south and they're three hours north. And there's no one in between that would do this job that they could find for, for a fair price and a fair product at the end. So we'll talk about it at the end. Let's get back to work.
that's annoying because I literally just got the spacer back from the dealer and I've only been running it for less than an hour. Thanks, Ring Power. Not exactly sure what I filmed already, but the uh, skis here didn't want to got a little stage right. Didn't want to show up to the uh, filming. Had a bunch of overheating problems. We could run for five minutes, had to cool down for ten minutes. Uh, hydraulic bolt that one cool down. Um, so I didn't really do a bunch of filming, um, and it's now it's raining. But the good news is. We'll be back in a few months to mulch some trees and debris like that with the actual mulcher and uh, really button this property up. This is not what the property looked like. If it did, I would have brought the forestry mulcher. What the property looked like was that. See that? More of a grassy. Um, it was more grassy up front than we got on the back and it turned into some reed, reed like grass. But yeah got it all mulled or mowed that storm's rolling in quick too um all those trees that are marked are coming down with the mulcher next time we're gonna back drag and make it look pretty and then dig a pond right back there uh, about a third of an acre a third of an acre pond back there uh it's gonna look great but yeah clients at that property that five acres we just left they were they're from georgia they're from three hours north of the photo line so you know they're pretty far up there and they were trying to hire someone through the internet through the phones and stuff like that to get their project done for them um you know because they do want to move here and build a house and stuff but there's some stuff that has to get done before they can make that jump they got two other bids than mine. And full disclosure, it was a thousand dollars what I just did there. Um it was like well it was more than that, it was like a thousand forty six, one thousand forty six dollars. I don't know, something like that. Um it was supposed to take a few hours, just a couple hours to to, to brush cut it, mow it, forestry mow it, bush hog it, whatever you want to call it. Uh just supposed to take a few hours. Nothing crazy. Oh, come on, brakes. And, uh, yeah, the the, uh, the other two bids, one was $11,000, and they're a local company, and the other one was eighty-seven fifty. dollars Now, I don't know how people can charge those numbers and, like, sleep at night. <laughs> and also, how do you even get jobs? <laughs> Just ripping people off like that. That's crazy. Um, I was there for seven hours. Right? I was there for seven hours. I was supposed to be there for like three, maybe. Um, but I was, I was supposed to be there for, for, for... I was there for seven hours. I was only supposed to be there for a few. And I, I just... I'm blown away. I am just literally blown away that they got those bids. Because the, the client was actually, they were actually confused. They thought my price was like a, a per acre price. I was like, no, that's the price. Like, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and uh, I stuck to it. I didn't, I didn't mess with the price none. Even though the machine made me sit there for, you know, five more hours than expected. These guys are, they're out there hit, trying to hit home runs. They, they, you know, they swing for the fences on every single job, and then they get they get one or two because someone didn't do their homework, and you know that's where you get these these guys that uh, leave messes like this. That was actually in Benel. We're gonna demo that that mobile home, but. Um, yeah, he said he had a mulcher. The wife actually hired us, or she wanted us to do the work. Um, but by the time we got out there um, to look at the mobile home, um, the other guy actually did it. She just went with him because he was ready sooner, it's, which is it's whatever. It's fine. Um, but he said he had a forestry mulcher, same as ours. Clearly not. That is clearly 
someone using a brush cutter as if it's a forestry mulcher and it's you can just tell by the results that they're not happy so we're going to come in behind and fix it um we're actually just going to use the excavator um that we're going to use to tear down that 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 move on with to yank out the stumps that he left behind and those just rake up those sticks and stuff because they're trying to put a pool in there so yeah that's the goal so anyways this got a lot long longer winded than expected maybe we might even hit a 10 minute video um we'll see not a lot of filming got done <laughs> I'll try harder. I'll try harder next time. Come on, Ring Power, fix the machines so they can work. Anyways, see y'all later.